and welcome to Try Something Vegan. Today's episode, Butternut Squash Soup. You will need the following ingredients. Oil, butternut squash, an onion, vegetable stock, coconut milk, salt, and pepper. Honorable mention, a bulb of garlic. Start off by cutting your butternut squash into manageable pieces, scooping out the seeds, and peeling the skin. with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper, and mix to combine. Place your butternut squash on your baking sheet and spread it out evenly. Next, you want to peel off the outer layers of the garlic. Cut just a portion of it off to expose the cloves. Place it in some foil. Drizzle with olive oil. Add a little bit of salt and pepper and add it to your baking sheet. Place it in an oven that is 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. Now you want to take your onion and slice it thinly. About 5 to 10 minutes before your butternut squash and garlic is done roasting, add some oil to a pot and saute your onions. To check if your butternut squash is done, stick a fork in it or a knife. To your pot, you're going to add your garlic and your butternut squash and your vegetable stock and bring it up to a nice simmer. Next, you're going to take your immersion blender and blend the soup till it's nice and smooth. Add in your coconut milk, mix it all together, and taste and adjust for seasoning. confession time. So I got to the point in my editing, the last clip, which is me reviewing the item, because the thing that would have completed it is nowhere to be found. That's what just happened to me. I go to bring the file over and I can't find the file. But it's okay. I will do my best <laughs> to recreate my happiness because I'm not happy. <laughs> Don't let this sad laugh fool you. <laughs> Alright, well, here we go. The soup was awesome. <laughs> it was really good. It was very smooth. It was velvety. It was flavorful. My favorite part was adding in the swirls at the end. I was trying to 
be fancy. My husband gave me the idea to roast the garlic and to roast the butternut squash. The roasting, I think, gave it a little bit more flavor. The roasted garlic didn't come out as strong of a garlic taste as I thought it would, which is good because that's not what I wanted. It kind of mellowed out, it kind of made the garlic sweet. What I ended up adding was the whole entire bulb into the soup and then blending it smooth. Very nice flavor. It's a hint of garlic, but not too overpowering. Always adjust for salt and seasoning. You have to fit it for you and whomever else you may be making this for. If there's a vegan recipe that you would like me to try, be sure to add a link in the comment section below. For all the proper measurements and ingredients, the recipe is in the description box below. Like and subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell your family, tell whoever, <laughs> and thanks for watching.